Hey there, what is up you guys? I am Jerry and welcome back to the channel, The Chicago Griller. This is the show where I share my favorite tips, tricks, and recipes for the Weber Q. If you think that I can help you out, hit the like button and subscribe. Today, I'll be grilling up kalbi. That's Korean barbecue short ribs. Now, I've actually made kalbi on the channel before, and previously I did it with a homemade marinade. But to save just a little bit of time today, I'll be using bottled marinade. Specifically, I'll be using this brand, this little goat went to Korea everything sauce. It's one in a line of sauces made by Chicago celebrity chef Stephanie Izzard, and a line of sauces that I've featured on this channel in the past. Now that's a great segue to my giveaway announcement. Now this channel recently crossed 9,000 subscribers on YouTube, and as crazy as it sounds, it's probably just a few weeks away from crossing 10K. So I offer my thanks to all of you out there who've lent me your support over the past two years on YouTube. However, an extra special thank you will go out to one of you in the form of this gift box. This box contains all five sauces from the This Little Goat line. Now for full disclosure, I'm not sponsored by This Little Goat, I'm not sponsored by Stephanie Izzard, and I am not sponsored by her restaurant. I simply really, really like her sauces, and I really, really like supporting local. I know that a large number of my viewers probably don't have easy access to this brand of sauce, so here's your chance to win all five. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you're subscribed to this channel, The Chicago Griller, and to also leave a comment telling me which of the five sauces you're most interested in trying out. The Yucatan, Southeast Asia, Korea, Hong Kong, or Tokyo. I'd be curious to know which one's your favorite or which one's you're most keen on trying. I'll be pulling all the users who commented and put them into a random number generator and pull a winner on September 2nd. And now with that announcement out of the way, let's grill some Colby. Today on the channel, I'll be grilling up one and a half pounds of beef ribs. I purchased these ribs from H Mart, which is a national chain of Korean grocery stores. The best way I could describe these ribs are that they've been cut across the bone. This is known as LA style or Flanken style when you ask your butcher. That said, this makes a lot more sense when I hold and stack a bunch of these pieces together, and you can more easily visualize the quote, traditional cut, which goes between each bone. Again, this kind of cut is frequently known as LA style or Flanken style. With that out of the way, let's prep. Prep is easy. All we're gonna do is use some This Little Goat Went to Korea Everything Sauce generously drizzle your sauce over your ribs, then use your hands to evenly spread that marinade and sauce over all of your meat. Now, I'm actually making my life a little bit more difficult than it has to be because I'm using too small of a dish for this, but that's okay. By flipping and turning my ribs over and reapplying sauce as necessary, I can still make sure that these ribs are thoroughly coated in this delicious marinade. Once your ribs are thoroughly coated in your sauce, grab some plastic wrap, place the whole thing in the fridge, and let it hang out and marinate for about one hour. So after one hour, let's grill. Out here on my front deck, I am preheating my Weber Q1200. It's a bit filthy from my previous cook, so let's just scrape these grates clean, removing any old residue. I'm also going to oil and season my grates. There is a little bit of oil in the marinade, but not enough to prevent the ribs from sticking. Now I'll shut the lid and let this grill continue to preheat. 
And now my grill is back up to temperature. Keep your gas knob on high and go ahead and lay your ribs across the grill grates. You'll see on the Weber Q1200, I'm gonna be able to lay four slices of ribs on each half, which is perfect because I have eight cuts of ribs today. And of course, once they are all on board, I'll just go ahead and shut the lid and let them cook for about three to four minutes per side. After four minutes, we're gonna open the lid and see how our Colby is doing and give them all a flip as well. And no surprises, some terrific sear marks. Now, you can't smell this through the video, but I'll tell you what, the aromas coming off this grill are amazing. I'm sure my neighbors and people walking down below are wondering what's cooking upstairs. Now, what I'm smelling is probably the hits of chili oil contained in the sauce. As you can see, it's giving me a few flare-ups as well. This chili oil, I don't believe is typical in Korean barbecue or kalbi, but is still very distinctively Korean. Enough rambling. All my kalbi is now flipped, so let's go and shut the lid and cook this for another three or four minutes. So now here I am between seven and eight minutes of total cook time. My kalbi should be ready to come on off the grill. So let's check them out. Can we just stop and admire these guys for a second? Yeah. All right. Let's get these guys off the grill. The thing I really like about kalbi or these Korean style ribs is that they cook so hot and so fast. It's not like Western style ribs where you got to cook low and slow for several hours. I mean, I've been cooking for less than 10 minutes and I'm about ready to enjoy some ribs. Before devouring, let's top this off with some garnishes. First, a little bit of sliced green onion. One more handful. There we go. And now sprinkle on some sesame seeds. They really help add a nice little bit of finishing texture to complete the overall dish. So there you go. That is how you can grill up kalbi, AKA Korean barbecue short ribs made on a Weber Q. One last look before a taste test and some final thoughts. Now, before I give this a taste test, I have to remind you viewers that short ribs like this will not be like Western ribs where they fall off the bone. Instead, they'll be a lot like a bone in steak, but with some crispiness and crunchiness to it because they are cooked so hot and so fast. So now, here we go. Let's see, let's just break off a piece here. Look at how nicely this comes off. Mmm. That's tremendous. Absolutely delicious. While I wouldn't say that was traditional kalbi or Korean barbecue flavor, it had more of a gochujaru type taste to it, but it was still very distinctly Korean. I really hope that you have a chance to try this out for yourself. And you do, all you have to do is win my giveaway. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below as to which of the five sauces you most want to try for your entry to win. Thank you very much as always for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you all again next time. Bye.